The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Mio Yoshida delivered about as good a performance Saturday as you could ask on less than two weeks' notice. The Japanese underdog landed the cleaner punches and outworked Ebony Bridges to upset the defending IBF bantamweight champion on the Regis Pro Grade Devin Haney undercard at Chase Center. Australia's Bridges lost the IBF bantamweight championship. She won when she outpointed Maria Roman unanimously in a 10-rounder that took place in March 2022 at First Direct Arena in Leeds, England. Bridges entered the ring as a 7-1 to favorite, according According to DraftKings Sportsbook. Yoshida made the most of an unforeseen opportunity she accepted even after losing a 10-round unanimous decision to Sherita Metcalf on November 7th at Edison Ballroom in New York. Yoshida replaced Bridges' original opponent Avril Matthew on short notice because Matthew withdrew from the bout in late November due to an undisclosed injury. By the time the 10th round began, it appeared clear that Bridges would need to knock out Yoshida to win. Bridges and Yoshida traded hard punches throughout a very competitive 10th round that drew a positive reaction from the crowd. The first six rounds were pretty much the same, where Yoshida controlled the fight. With Bridges backed up against the ropes, Yoshida nailed Bridges with a right hand when there were just over 30 seconds on the clock in the eighth round. Bridges blasted Yoshida with a left hook, however, a few seconds before the eighth round concluded. Yoshida let her hands go throughout the ninth round when she landed various rights and left as she outworked the fatigued Bridges. By the time the tenth round began, it appeared clear that Bridges would need to knock out Yoshida to win. Bridges and Yoshida traded hard punches throughout a very competitive tenth round that drew a positive reaction from the crowd. Guys, what did you think about Mio Yoshida's performance? She looked great. She looked a lot better than she fought Shah Metcalf. Um, she did lose to Shah Metcalf uh, in November. So Sharita Metcalf is the mandatory to whoever was going to be the winner, whether it was going to be Ebony or Mio. So um, guys, 2024 looks like it might be a unification between Nina Hughes and Mio Yoshida. A lot, a lot, a lot going for Mio Yoshida right now. Uh, she is a single parent, and uh, there was a priceless, beautiful moment uh, in the ring after the win when her daughter came in, gave her a big hug, and both of them were crying. It was just a um, priceless moment. So, you know, you, you can't take anything away from Mio Yoshida. Came in on late notice, um, and you know what? She she prevailed. So congratulations, Mio. Mio Yoshida on a great performance. Outclassed, completely outclassed the champion. And now the new champion if the IBF sanctioning body. Guys, guys, let us know in the comments below what you thought about Mio Yoshida's performance. And do you want to see a unification with Nina Hughes, Dina Thorslin, or a fight to defend her title against Sean Metcalf? You can find us on Instagram at Sportbox TV official X formerly known as Twitter at Sportbox TV. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate all love and support. Take care.